Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com. Let us discuss the process called RSSI based localization algorithms using spatial diversity in wireless sensor networks. Let us see the abstract for RSSI based localization algorithms using spatial diversity in wireless sensor networks. In many process, wireless sensor networks are based on received signal strength indication. The advantage of RSSI are in terms of complexity and energy consumption, but the RSSI values in the indoor environment are unstable due to the fading caused by multipath propagation. In wireless sensor network, we compute RSSI based localization algorithm in spatial diversity by comparing both the algorithm multilateration algorithm present better results compared with the trilateration algorithm. At last, we find that MRC performs the best and SC is the worst. First, an ordered sequence of reference nodes is obtained by ranking them based on one-way RSS measurements between them and the unknown node. Next, this measured sequence is compared with the ideal distance based sequence for each location in the localization space to determine how many order constraints are satisfied. The location which maximizes the number of satisfied constraints is estimated to be the best location of the unknown node. Ideally, the ranks of the reference nodes based on RSS readings should be monotonic with their ranks based on true Euclidean distances. However, this is not true in the real world because of the presence of multipath fading and shadowing in the RF channel. The advantages are the diversity technique exploits the multipath propagation and provides the diversity gain. The results presented used a coherent receiver. These techniques are used to improve the performance of radio channel without any increase in the transmitted power. We conclude that to compare MRC with selection combining, we have to increase the number of receivers to 4 which will result into a difference of 2.5 dB in SNR. This difference widens if we further increase the number of antennas at receiver. MRC is considered better than equal gain as it differs by a gain of 0.5 dB. The output curve steeply raises initially but then becomes smooth. It might be because if we go on increasing the number of receiver antennas, the complexities in obtaining the desired signal will also increase. We also compared the average localization error using different diversity combining methods 
at the receiver namely SC, MRC and EGC. We found that MRC performs the best and the SC is the worst although this later is the simplest in terms of implementation. Let us discuss the flowchart for this process. Here first range identification. There has been a wide range of research aiming at developing sensors with multiple antennas. Experimental results have been achieved to show the system requirements and feasibility using multiple antennas on the transmitter end or the receiver end which leads to a better interpretation of the RSSI values compared with the traditional distance measuring and thus it affects the system accuracy. Then distance between target and anchor, the weighted average method assigns a higher weight to the sample that is closer to the target data whose RSSI value is aimed to be evaluated. However, due to the strong fluctuation of the signal, the result is quite similar with the one obtained from the moving average method. The former makes use of the absolute distance or angle calibrated from the pre-measured RSSI map which can be a set of signatures or RSSI to distance. Then signal power for antenna it indicates that received signal power should be more than the minimum receiving sensitivity level for proper communication. It is also observed that the radiation pattern of the monopole antenna is far more different than its theoretical circular radiation pattern. Even in propagation environment similar to the free space propagation. Then identify the target position. The intersection of two lines uniquely identifies the target position. As for the multilateration, the collaboration of three or more anchors can enhance the estimation effectiveness. The angular diversity mechanism is exploited by a progressive sensing of the incoming message over the set of available antenna beams. Consider the link of an anchor A and the target T. Upon a request message sent by an anchor, the node T responds with an opportunely repeated broadcast message. Then error calculation. In the original RSSI based localization algorithm, when measuring the actual RSSI values of the beacon nodes, the error caused by the obstacles or the antenna direction will be persistently substituted into the formula involved in the operation. The error becomes greater with the accumulation. This is the one of the main reasons of the big error in RSSI based localization. Let us see the output for this process. The main code is in mainfile.m. Now I am running this file. Here there are two types multilateration and trilateration. Now we are going to see for multilateration. SISO means single input with single output. Here Here the anchor node and mobile nodes are presented in figure 1. This is the graph for 
the difference between standard deviation and error it is plotted for single input with single output this is the mobile location which is estimated then single input with multi outputs here single input so the anchor node is one and multi output means mobile nodes are this the number of output may be uh, infinity numbers this is the graph plotted for single input with multi output then miso which means multi input with single output see the inputs are multiple and the output is single this is the graph plotted for miso that is multi input with single output then multi input with multi output see the inputs are multiple and output also multiple this is the graph plotted for multi input with multi output here is the error estimated where mimo is the best because the estimated error is very low then we are going to see for trail attrition here again we are going to see for single input with single output see single input single output this is the graph plotted for trail attrition with siso model next single input with multi output here single input with multi output it is the graph plotted for trail attrition algorithm with simo model it is the anchor node it is the mobile node here is the location of the mobile nodes are estimated then miso which means multi input with single output it is the graph for trail attrition with miso model and finally for multi input with multi output here the inputs are multiple and output also multiple it is the graph plotted for trail attrition algorithm with mimo model these are the anchor nodes these are the mobile nodes and the red color is the location of mobile node which is estimated here the estimation error in mimo is very low so mimo is the best when compared with others